All right, so in this lecture, we're gonna be talking about layer masks. Layer masks are probably one of my favorite tools when it comes to digital painting, because they make it so that you can do huge sections of art without having to worry about going outside the lines or keeping everything nice and clean. It just does all the work for you. So let's, uh, it's something that can seem kind of intimidating and complicated, but it's really not once you understand it. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to make a new layer I'm going to come back down to my elephant layer here. I have this on a separate layer from the background. And this little icon here, it's going to be different for whatever software you're in. You might have to look it up. But whatever your layer mask function is, you're going to hit that. And you're going to make a new layer mask. Actually, not quite yet. That is how you make a layer mask, but we need to do something else first. First, I'm going to select this layer right here. I'm going to hit select pixels, and we're actually going to make our layer mask up here on this one. So I'm going to make a new layer mask, and you can see that it automatically makes a mask of my selection over here. You don't always have to do this. You can just start with a blank layer mask and do it yourself, but this way um, it automatically creates a selection for what we want. Okay, so now if we come up here to this layer, the way that the mask works, if we take a brush up here, let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll just go with this. That will work. When we try and paint you'll see that it only paints inside of our mask, which is great, because now, you know, if we want to start painting, uh, you know, different markings or shadows, whatever else we want to paint on this, we wouldn't have to worry about going outside the lines. Now, what's happening, if we look over here uh, at a little layer thumbnail, you can see that it is still painting everything we stroke, but the mask is covering up everything that's not the elephant. So the way that a mask works is that the black part is going to be what's masked out, and the white part is going to be what shows through. Okay, so the black, imagine the black covers everything up and the white is transparent. And then gray is gonna be anything in between. So if we click on our mask here and we go anywhere along the gray scale here, so let's say we go about mid-tone gray and we try and paint on our mask, it's going to bring us to about 50% opacity on our mask layer. Okay, so you can see if we look down here in our thumbnail, you can see that the mask is white, black, and gray, and that gray spot is where it's going at 50%, okay? And you can bring it anywhere along the slider here to get more or less opacity. Or maybe you just want a little bit. The closer you get to black, the, uh, the more it's going to mask out, and the farther you get from black, the less it's gonna mask out, okay? So, go ahead and get rid of that. Um, if you want, you can always invert your selection when you do that, so that like maybe instead you want to paint, um, we'll click on this. If you want to invert your mask, all you have to do is either go up to Image and Adjustments and select Invert, or just hit Command-I, and that will flip your mask. So now, when we try and paint on it, it'll do the opposite. It'll paint everything but what we have masked out. And it's just an easy way to get things done quickly. So that's it for this lecture. I will see you guys in the next one.